Welcome to Wiring Diagram Diagnostics number two. This is on a 2005 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 liter in it. Now the problem that they're having is it's a crank no start with no fuel pressure. And the theft light is proving out just fine, so it's not a theft issue. So we're going to go after the fuel pump on here. Now usually I do it from the top down like I said before, but on this particular vehicle it's a little hard because the fuel pump relay is not serviceable so it's part of the circuit board on the central junction box so we're just gonna bypass all this we'll go down to the back of the vehicle above the spare tire and that's where the fuel pump driver module is at now we all know that these rot out and cause fuses to blow and then of course no fuel pressure and maybe even theft lights depending on how it blows the fuse but, on this particular case, the fuel pump driver module has been changed out and the fuses are all replaced already. So, at this point we need to do some real diagnostics and start checking our powers and grounds in and out of the fuel pump driver module. So, go back there above the spare tire, disconnect it, and then we're going to test our power coming into it. And the way we need this power to come into it, the way we're going to get this power to come into it without a scan tool is by having someone crank the engine while the vehicle's in park. As you can see up here, the relay is only energized when it's in, uh, when it's running, which obviously I'm, I'm not doing. Obviously, uh, won't start, uh, or while you're cranking it. So we're gonna have someone cranking it, and then we're gonna go down here and the white wire pin five. We're gonna make sure that it has power coming to it, and you wanna make sure you load test this power coming in to make sure it can handle the amperage that's required for this fuel pump to actually work. So you want to use a old window motor, um, a large uh, old headlamp, something like that, and really pull some amperage through here. And since the grounds out of the vehicle are probably pretty bad, considering it's probably pretty rusty, uh, what you can do and test two things at once is jump from here, pin 5, to pin 3 over here with your load, whatever you're using to load up the circuit and test it and that way we're testing the main power and the main ground coming in to the fuel pump driver module now if both of these are coming in while we're, we're uh, cranking the engine okay we have power and ground where everything's okay at this point it's up to the fuel pump driver module to actually send the power and ground out to the the fuel pump itself it's all it's all pulse with uh, modulate. That's why it's a twisted wire pair with shielding and everything else over to here, because it's an electronic fuel, electronic returnless fuel system is what it is. So it's all pulse width uh, modified on here, modulated uh, to get it to uh, that right pressure on there. So beyond that, at this point, it's it's a scan tool that you're going to need next to start checking the um, commanded and the monitored percentages on the scan tool to see if the PCM can talk to the fuel pump driver module. Now let's say the power and the ground coming into the module are just fine, you're just not getting it out of it, and you don't have a scan tool to start checking these comm circuits. Well, what you can do is jump pin 5 to pin 2, and pin 3 to pin 4 and what that'll do is give full power and ground to the fuel pump at that point you should have power and, uh, over here and of course the fuel pump will be turning on and you'll have fuel pressure and the vehicle should start and at that point we know that the power coming in and the circuitry coming out and the fuel pump itself are just fine uh, like I said at this point you need a scan tool to check these, mon check these uh, monitor circuits on the PID data one other note that I can give you is that some guys they're finding this is this driver module is rotted out, so they change it, make sure all the fuses are okay, everything's just fine, and the darn thing still doesn't work. Well, they changed it out with the doorman unit, and they have the rubber bushings on them that insulate it from the frame. Now that shouldn't matter, but it is mattering. It, it is. It does matter apparently. Uh, because I've gotten multiple reports of this. Now, I've never experienced that because I've always used the new Ford unit. The new Ford unit also has spaces on it, but that's a metal bolt and stud design. So, if 
I had this issue with any kind of an issue with the fuel pump driver module, and I had to go buy one, the, I, I, there'd be no questions asked. I would change it out to a new Ford unit on there and avoid all this hassle. Now, let's say you're not getting power over here at all. Well, you want to backtrace it up to the inertia fuel cutoff switch. Make sure that's not tripped. Just press down the button on top of it, the red button, and make sure it's not tripped. And at that point, we are over to the C270K uh, connector on here. It's probably a good size connector, about 40 different wires coming off of it. Um, so what's easier than that, because we can't test the fuel pump relay, like I said, is to check our inputs to it. And A right here comes from Fuse 34, 20 ampere, which is an, also in the essential junction box. And then the B input right here comes from the PCM power relay. Now, if the PCM power relay was not turning on, you'd have the theft light more likely than not, but it is always possible to have, you know, some kind of uh, corrosion or mice damage between this wire and that PCM power relay just for this particular circuit. But yeah, that, that's about it. There's you know a few circuits we really can't test without the scan tool, but what we, we can test is a whole lot more. And usually the issue is from the inertia fuel cutoff switch on back. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere in this area on here. Fuel pumps, they generally are not common on these. I don't think I've ever changed a fuel pump on an Expedition or F-150, uh, you know, 03, 04 on. They're just, they're just not that common, whereas before that they were pretty common. So overall, this is a good overview of the circuit and how it works. I hope this helps.